Yeah, nice. Howdy. Uh, what? Oh, okay, that's fine. Adam, what's up, dude? Welcome along. Hi. <laughs> How is everybody today? I am really late. Seems to be all I do at the moment. God, excuse me. Let's start the stream with a big fat yawn. Brilliant. Good start. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. <laughs> How the devil are you? Noise. Uh, Nathan, dude, thank you for the five months, man. That's awesome. Very cool. Starting out strong. <laughs> nice. Very cool. <laughs> Brilliant. Cool. Nice Christmas emoji. We're back. We're back with our modular cargo ship here. That we've been working on a little bit. We worked on it a little bit last stream. Well, we worked on it entirely last stream, didn't we? Um, lots of work still to do on it. Quite sure how we're going to finish it, really. We shall see. We've still got a fair old chunk of space at the front to do something with. Um... I want to do some nice shaping at the front though. So we might not have as much room as perhaps. I think we might, but we shall see. We shall see and we shall try. I want to start off with three forward facing thrusters though. Uh, before we do anything, we need some symmetry. How's Spank today? I don't know. I'll ask him. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm alright, I'm alright. A bit tired, a bit tired, but I'm okay. Um, yeah, I guess not quite used to... Well, I got used to running these on Saturdays, which I have a lot more time to do. But um, I'm visiting, visiting family yesterday. Kind of sort of precluded that a bit. Couldn't really um, stream yesterday as a result. I had no idea. I actually got back about half past nine after being on the road for two and a half, three hours driving back from Exeter to Bristol. So, so yeah, it was a fairly longish drive. And then I was like, yeah, I was in no condition to stream then. I was even more tired. All right, anyway. Hello everybody, welcome back to the stream. We are chilling. We are building. I'm not quite sure. I have a vague picture of, in, of what this looks like in my mind. I think it's going to not come out as good as it appears in my mind. Let's go have a look at something real quick. Let me have a look at... Look at this. There's a sort of shape on the MS Titan, I think. I quite like. The MS Titan is quite a good looking bird now, really. Okay. Alright. Uh. Everything's gone. <laughs> what? <laughs> How is that? Where's, where is everything? For God's sake. Stupid. Things don't appear on the map. Anyone please fix. Jag, what's up, dude? Welcome along. Presidente, welcome along. Let's let's block this off for a second anyway. Let's get some basic frame framework going on in here. Um, I 
this this line might be able to take that out. And then Let's continue that down. Continue that round. We aren't as important as family. Lol. If I had my way, yeah, it would be. <laughs> no, that's mean. <laughs> Probably gonna get me in trouble now. <laughs> we'll just skip over that bit. <laughs> I didn't say it, I didn't. <laughs> right. I'm just trying to figure out how to do the shape here, but I'm not really sure. Uh, we could do simply this. Um, it's probably the easiest thing to do. I don't know if there is actually a connecting block that can deal with that and that. A slope and a roundy. There's, but on a corner. There's one that can try to shoot between the two. I'll just stick with that for now. Wow. I don't want to uh, use too many layers of armor, so I don't want to um, kind of stick with one layer, you know. Otherwise, this thing's going to get a bit out of control in cost. I'm only using steel as it is, and it's a cargo ship. How am I going to connect that? There's um I don't think there's any way I can nicely round that off really. I put um landing things somewhere, didn't I? I oh, know I was going to, but then I didn't put them down. I remember.
Uh, that might work. That might work as a shape. I mean, that won't. Right there. I need to change that to that as well. Mm, there we go. Um, so when is the Spanish dressed as Santa stream? <laughs> nothing, nothing planned. I could totally pull off a Santa though. I could totally pull off a Santa. I might need to put some um, some flour in my beard. <laughs> but yeah, why not? Evening, Escarlo. What's up, dude? Welcome along. Why not? I could totally pull us pull off Santa. I'm gonna have to square. I'm gonna have to just accept that I'm gonna have to square these walls off, and that uh, the spaces aren't gonna be as big as I initially wanted them to be. But I think what I can do is use a bit of sloping to deal with that. And here we're gonna go back to our our um, half blocks, our wall blocks. Sorry. Going to we can't do it on the block itself. It's gonna leave this really weird gap. But it will be the same then as the front uh, as the back, sorry, you've got this nacelle shape at the back. I'm going to stick the same on the front. And that's going to contrast with the angular stuff that we got going on here as well. I'm going to build this out a little bit. Easy tiger. Come on. the stream been up? Not long mate, literally like five minutes. Okay, more like ten minutes. <laughs> uh, uh, dear. A new super lifter? Not quite mate, no no no. She won't be doing any lifting, although she has got some large thrusters. Um, no, it's, a mod it's a modular cargo ship, so these little pods that we built in the last stream are 320 KSU each and uh, they've just got two engines in all directions um, except they have got four mediums for lifting off of planets they'll dock with a mothership here you can see the landing gear on their roof um, and this means that the mothership doesn't need to have any significant storage she can just get by at tier 3 and have all the storage of a tier 8 CPU vessel that's the theory anyway. <laughs> that happens in practice or not, I don't know. Probably not. We shall see when she's finished. I'm, I'm trying to keep her at tier 3 at most. Um, she's at 862,000 CPU already. And that's... Uh, Oh, we've got about 600,000 left, well, just under, before we breach the tier 3 threshold of 1.5 million. So, yeah. But I am using a lot of blocks here, I'm using a lot of blocks. She is a big boat. Um, well, she's not really. She's quite a small boat, but in Imperium world, she's a big boat now. So, but it's things like using these little... These little half blocks and stuff are going to cause the CPU to go a bit ballistic in places. Yeah. We can really do about that. That's just the way it is now. We could, optionally, we could just not build with CPU. Never mind. Which I know a lot of people have. Are doing. 
I think. <laughs> I don't actually know. I made that last bit up, if I'm honest. <laughs> this is, who's not building with CPU? <clears throat> Do you usually start with your your stream uh, with your systems and build outward, or pick a shape and fit systems within? I, I'd say I'm probably more comfortable with building a shape and then fitting systems in, and then modifying the shape to the needs after that, um, which is not necessarily the best way to go about it. I mean, I don't know what the best way to go about it is, but it's whatever you're sort of comfortable with, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's just the way I've always... I feel more comfortable building that way. Because I feel if you put all the systems in, you kind of... Well, I did it. I did it for a few ships, and I ended up with... Um, with the same ship basically three times. So um, that's just a horrible crease, isn't it? It's a horrible crease. Just embrace the sorry try and um, strive to get as smooth angles as possible so many times and then and it's just like why why bother sometimes sometimes having that kind of the sharper corners and stuff like that are, are okay you don't need to you don't need to uh, bust a gut trying to link everything together so nicely like a, a crease like that it's like that bit there why not just continue it with the uh, with a round block here. Let's just don't try so hard. Just fit it in, it'll be fine. It's on purpose. People will realise it's on purpose and they'll go, yeah, it's part of the design. It's okay. Yeah. Like that. And then we could fluff that up later and it'll look pretty damn decent, I reckon. Yeah. Um Merry Sunday Sponge, how goes it? Back on the modular truck thing. Hey, Waspy McTavish. Yeah, mate, we're back on the the modular truck thing. Yeah, and it goes it goes all right. Like I said earlier, I mean, we're just trying to square it off now and figure out the space that we've got. I think, and uh, what we can fill that space with. And there's going to be a lot of cutting into once we get the basic shape it's, it's kind of like um for me anyway um very really different for other people but for me it's like kind of you've got some uh, a big block of stone once you've built the shape out how you roughly want it a big block of stone and then you chisel into it and you you, you shape it from that and you make the interesting shapes and stuff afterwards after you've got the basic shape. So at the moment it's just like placing a crap ton of blocks in order to figure out where we go from here. And then we can do the internals and stuff as well. So like this bit here, do I bring it in? Or do I bring that back like that? Do I bring that back like that? That's okay, but then we lose that kind of nice distinctive bit there. But then maybe what we could do is bring that down using one of these. I've still got this opt for a keep the same angle. We'll do the same on the top as well. Keep the same angle there as well. We've got like weird hammerhead thing going on. Um, and then back here, we just bring him back in line. Cool. Like that. And we can use some half locks here for funsies. Bring that up. Complete that there. There we go. 
rough shape at the bottom there. And then we've got this this sort of weird lip thing going on here, and we can have some fun with this. We can do some piping all the way along the bottom of the ship. I'm going to say to about there. Um, we can interrupt that piping every now and again, in line with these, maybe. You can have a junction pipe element. Just drag that along as well. Piping fixes everything. So intermediary pipes. And we can texture that and make it even look look even more industrial later. Um, right, we've got a bit of side thrust going on at the back here, but nothing at the front. So I'm going to fit some in this kind of thing. I also wanted to reserve a bit of space on here for turrets. So I'm going to bring in um, 12 projectile turrets here. And we're going to see if we can line them out on the hull somewhere as well. Now, um, might be quite cool idea to have them rear set in there but I don't know because I wanted to put a gun here if I put the thrusters here I can't put a gun there at the same time where else am I going to put thrusters like I said I could get some angled things um Rabbit Monkey says, thanks. I loved your season 10 playthrough, by the way. It basically taught me how to play. Nice! I'm glad it. I'm glad you enjoyed, dude. That's awesome. Maybe use the angled curved connector. I've probably moved on from there now, haven't I? <laughs> so, bloke. So, bloke. Now you're done with Project Eden. Are you going to do a different single player playthrough? Um, I'm probably not until Alpha 12 now. Um, I'll be honest. I'm a little bit fucking tired of the game <laughs> and uh, yeah I just need to give it some space and then I can come back to it with a bit more positivity and stuff um, for the next sort of big release uh, yeah there was just some it's just been a sort of pattern of changes and stuff recently that have just really sort of worn my patience for things very thin um, and it's not that um, I don't still enjoy things like building um, but it, it's this sort of they've introduced elements that are now core gameplay which I find about as much fun as stabbing oneself in the eye with a, a lemon dripped tea pick I don't know what that is. What have I just done? Hmm. Actually, do you know what? Screw it. Embrace it. Because then we can use. I want to say that one, but I don't think that's the right one either. There is a block for that, isn't there? There's a connector block for it. It's one of these. Oh, is it? Am I getting confused? I thought it was. It was one of these, like that. Bang. <laughs> but it's like this weird. Oh, yeah, it gives a weird angle, doesn't it? I feel like I could change it just simply. Much smoother. If it was just. And then. Something like. Is it that one? No, 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 it's, it's bigger than that, isn't it? Wait, there isn't a block for that, is there? No, there isn't. Okay, we'll just use that and then change that out. Okay, so we've got some side thrust at the front now as well. That's pretty cool. I like that sort of indented in there. I might even move it further in, maybe, because it looks... Especially these ones are very exposed. These ones have at least got a half block on top of them. But Yeah, because I can move these back one block. 
It screws the alignment up, like, with the whole. But that's okay. I'll just block that off. Yeah. That's fine. It's all good. It's like, which way round is this ship? <laughs> it's almost like front heavy. <laughs> it looks front heavy now. But yeah. Um. Maybe replicate the curved front thruster surrounds on the underside and top side thrusters too. The front ones look sick. I see the round the round ones. Ignore me. Right. In the nose. I wish I could build like this. <laughs> Uber 9. Just takes practice, dude. If so, you might like to have a look at a scenario called Generic Brand Galaxy as an alien startup planet that is awesome. Sweet. Even in Spanish and everyone else. Hey, Punkuala. Try and catch as much of the stream as possible. Yeah, no worries, dude. Is game worth it in current state? Oh, I don't know, mate. That's a difficult question. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, $15 or whatever it is. Like, it's totally worth $15. Like, I've played it for over 3,000 hours. Um, and you can play with all the sort of options and stuff they've recently added to the game. Switched off. Um... So yeah, I, I would say it's still worth it. I would say it's got... I would also say it's got serious problems as well. <laughs> really. It's got serious issues. They need to be sorted. And they're being just promptly ignored at the moment. I don't know why I'm doing this at this stage. I really shouldn't be doing this at this stage. I just want to. Uh, I'm just going to add a bit of flair. <laughs> Yow. Yow. Is that the right one? Nope, that's the right one. And that actually reflects in uh, symmetry pretty well now. Thankfully, they are capable of fixing some things. Woohoo! Piping. Every day, every day piping, baby. I don't know what that's piping for, but you know, eh, we'll go with it. <laughs> Normally, I like to add flair and give it a purpose. Like that is piping for some cool of quantum coolant system on a solid steel uh, fin that has no purpose whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. this bit here what do I do with this bit can I do anything with this bit I don't think so I could just leave it leave it and put some uh, deco blocks on it later it'll be all fine right guns guns are easy there's a gun is that oh that's gonna annoy me I didn't count the blocks it's annoying annoying uh, unsymmetrical amount We wanted uh, two on either side, except back here, I want to put it on some kind of little mount point. So, where are we going to be? Because we've got quite, oh, all the half blocks kind of ruin that, don't they? Hmm. Hmm. Um. <laughs> a holiday for your imperial creativity. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You got it. Imperial is still somewhat worth it. Yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah, that sums it up. That sums it up in one sentence. I usually catch the stream after it's done. And I can finally watch it live. Yay, Aaron JD, what's up, dude? Thanks, John. Yeah. The pipe is for cooling fluid, and the thing is a cooling vein. Bingo. See, you've done this before. <laughs> Bomb man, it is done that before. My prime sub deserves to be yours again, Spanj. Hope it helps. Uh, the master plan. Waspy Mitavish, thank you, sir. That is very cool. 
They're very kind. HP Drifter, what's up, dude? Welcome along. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, how are we going to do this? We need to create some kind of mounting mechanism for a turret. It's for the heat plate for when you enter the ice field. There you go, see? Lance Braveheart's on the, on the ball with it as well. So you guys are way better at this than I am. Way better at it. Um, I want to add a turret here, but I don't want it on a thin plate there. But I also don't want it over the thrusters. I don't know what to do. <laughs> whether I can or not. And whether I should just basically bite the bullet and put it here. Or in this 3x3. Three three instead. I could build a mountain mechanism thing out the side here and... Nah. <laughs> That would just look weird. We got two front facing cannon turrets. It's definitely uh it's definitely top heavy, forward heavy, I think. There's just a bigger mass of blocks at the forward section than there is at the back. I'm not sure I'm enjoying the dimensions at the moment. Now it Hmm. What happens if I bring this back? What does that do to the dimensions? Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. I need to work on this. Uh, why not make the cargo section longer? Well, I wanted to get six pods. The The cargo section, is the length isn't necessarily the problem. It's more like the, the girth of the rear end. Um, I feel like this section here needs to be wider in order to sort of out scale the front section here. Now, it, doesn't, it obviously doesn't have the height. So the height is okay. As in the back has got obviously the height of the, the bridge section going on. Yeah, but it's almost like the engine pods here. I need to bring out another, I don't know, even as much as, say, five blocks out. And then, uh, and then it might be all right. I mean, we could do this. It's not It's not a problem. Uh, just, just figuring out exactly what it is we want to do. Use the selection tool and you can simply just cut and then simply just paste and use the arrows to move it. I'm going to go with three blocks for now. Let's see if that does it. Three blocks out. Do the same for the other side as well. Yep. I've got the front. Yep. I'll make sure it's completely encompassing everything. I'm going to cut, paste, one, two, three, paste, clear. Ah, there you go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Dimensions look a bit better now. <laughs> That's <just> my fussy. <laughs> so fuzzy. Um, when you build, do you care so much for the center of gravity? Hell no. <laughs> but, if I get a center of gravity, great. <laughs> Needs a bigger butt. Exactly, <laughs> nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Front koala. Good man. <laughs> All right. So now do we just square connect that up like that? Take that on. And the good news is we've got ourselves a turret mount area now. <laughs> we can actually even include that and turn that one into one of these. I don't want it. Be 
a gun on here now. Could even fit a retracting gun on here. Um, I don't know what is the prevailing opinion now. I mean, a lot of people recently have been saying they've been opting for um, Gatlin because uh, the the cannon turret's just not hitting the side of a barn door. What do you guys think? Are you still with Gatlins or are you with cannons? What is the dealio? Double the scale of the whole back end will balance it better, I think. Double? Jesus. I mean, maybe. You're probably right. Could probably do with it being a bit longer as well. But that's why I built those blocks out the back there to see if I can get a bit more length out of it as well. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. We need to get the back end shape sorted and then um, start filling it out a bit better. But yeah, the front in my mind was always supposed to be kind of like a, almost like a ram's head kind of thing for, I think more than just hard docking, but, hmm. Um. <laughs> a pain in the ass, I know, yeah. Don't see the point of center of mass on SVs and CVs. Should have a floating piece not attached to the main ship hmm yeah I don't know if I was building like an alien ship yeah maybe Gatlin definitely I like big butts cannot lie oh god <laughs> nope I just don't see the point of retractable turrets I leave mine out and turned on all the time zoo I mean they're quite useful in um, multiplayer and I don't think when a turret is retracted or turned off it gets targeted uh, yeah, it's mostly, uh, it is mostly a kind of, it's, it's the only bit of animation we've got in it. <laughs> you've got spinny generators, gravity generators, and that's it. Or you've got turrets popping out. Give give me some animation, please. <laughs> uh, Hazy, what's up, dude? Gatlin for consistent hits on shields. I will sometimes alternate between normal turret and retractable because it's uh, one block different, so you can stagger them. Gatlin versus drones, cannon maybe versus better uh, CVs and SVs. I don't know. Looks like a hammerhead corset. <laughs> it's a hammerhead corset. Oh, that sounds tight. <laughs> Let's go for a retractable Gatlins then. At least with retractables, you can get. You know, you can fold them in so you can have almost like a. Um, what was I going to say? A completely unarmed ship by the looks of it. So there's a bit of role play value in, in retractables, I think. Isn't there? Oh, I tell you what, one thing I need to build into the back of this is um, is an SV bay, didn't I? So I am going to get a little bit more length out of it. I'm only going to add one and uh, two, one on the top and two on the bottom, I think. Rear facing. This is uh, fun. There you go. We'll sort out the details later. That needs to get sunk. Um, oh no, should be fine. We need to lower some landing gears into the hull though. Right. Uh, I need to turn that warp drive around. I think I just turned God mode off. What? Warp drive. Let's turn that way, that way around. Uh, actually, I might asymmetry it. Ah, damn it.
Hmm. I'm gonna ask for you to hang her back in here. In the back of this. <laughs> it just ain't happening. SV hanger in the back of here with enough room for a warp drive. Oh, damn. So we said a wide version of that one. That's so narrow. And then that's that's wider, but it's all it's annoying shape. I say like almost too big. <laughs> Oh dear. I made a CV gunship called the Terminator and it uses mostly cannon and sentry. When I tested it against cluster of Xerox POIs, it terminated all life within its range. Nice. Cannon is good for damage and range. Gatlin is good for accuracy and rate of fire, so I usually do both. Uh, animated wings folding or movable for flight modes. Yes, please. These cells need to be longer now. They look a bit small. Now compared to the back end. Yeah, we can make that longer, that's no problem. Um, how do you not just try and make everything smooth? <laughs> well, I, I know, I said earlier, it's like you've got to almost fight the urge to try and round everything off and, and smooth everything across. It is, it is tricky, I'm not gonna lie. It is a tricky, tricky thing to do. Because the natural urge is to make everything kind of smooth angles and stuff isn't it but you don't have to you really don't have to it's not necessary Take this to the next level. Well, I would, but um, that's not quite going to work, is it? I wanted to do that one, but then you got this this corner bit here. Yeah. I have to bring it out a lot further than that. I'm going to widen this hangar bay. I can based on these blocks <laughs> and get the rotation right god damn rotation there we go uh, no not that one damn it uh, this one I'll get, it, I'll get there eventually, guys. I will. I'm just so sorry. <laughs> I think it's going to take a little while. <laughs> oh, dear. No, no, no. Behave yourself. Pack it in, or we're all. I'll turn this bloody ship around and we'll go straight home. Bits right. and bobs. Bits and bobs. Heroic. Heroic levels of bits and bobs. Who that? Who that with the bits and bobs? Yo. Fluff, dude. What's up, man? Nice, thank you, sir. Very kind, very kind. Oh, I missed a lot of chat. Um, how are you de deleting the blocks without the multi tool? Hold shift, and then you right click the mouse. But you have to have a block in your in your um, in your hand when you do it. So I got to rotate blocks and everything is also set to mouse. Uh, mouse 4 and mouse 5 which are on my thumb that's how I'm able to rotate the axes so quickly as well in case, if you were curious 
Um, shift right mouse, so you got it. Yeah, two doors on their side, on on the side to give you more clearance. Yeah, well, the problem is the two doors, like you can, you can put them on the side so it opens like um, two sliding doors together yeah. like that. But I think that would be too big then. I think that would be too big. I could be wrong, but yeah. But yeah, we need to extend these nacelles out a bit more. Absolutely. Um, yeah. But we have got a bit more room to play with inside this hangar bay now. I'm going to alternate the uh, the placement of these blocks here. I'm going to put set them a, a block back from where they would normally be. It's going to confuse everything, isn't it? Uh, do a triple rear door for something different. <laughs> That's a <the> triple one. <laughs> we gonna do that. Uh, asymmetrical one, dude. Thank you for the follow, man. That's awesome. Welcome, welcome. Let's angle this so it looks a little bit nicer. Can't actually place there. Place there. there. What are we gonna do there? <laughs> Cause reasons. <laughs> Cause reasons. All right, we can blank that off. I'm gonna grab some heavy windows. Dope. Oh, actually, we've got, a, got an opportunity here, haven't we? attached to the back of this thing for no good reason. turrets away a second whoops no core present of course not whoa there's a new we haven't been on around very long anyway um, let's just put you there for now we just need the turret to go away because what I'm going to do Gonna move these back.
bigger hangar comes a need for more stuff, doesn't it? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I got an idea. It's a bit radical, but bear with. Um, it is the in-game music to do. Yeah, yeah. It is, yeah. All by, um, well, I don't know if it's all by Alex Jordan, but most of it is by Alex Jordan. What's your opinion on all the new block shapes? More blocks, please. <laughs> Needs more. <laughs> um, I like the windows being bigger without the bars in the middle. Yeah, that's so much better. Composer of the Imperium game music. Send it to him. Window is now blocked. Yeah, I know the window is now blocked. That's what I was in an iron about. You can have a great view of the nacelle. <laughs> um, send it back a couple. Whoops. Ah, oh, crap. Son of a bitch. I just set that window out. I was only messing around with the window. Not really necessary, is it? For a, 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 for a hangar bay. Right. What I wanted to do was rotate it. thrusters uh, <laughs> on either side. Let's get a jump our CPU up. Wow, one million. One million. And then we've strapped a warp drive in here yet. Um, what do I need to do? I want to do it. Um, just non symmetrically. That makes sense. blocks out and then I'll have to cover it up with something item. Everything else should be pretty easy to fit in, I think. <laughs> that is so not symmetrical. It's all good. I got it. 
Um, and with these thrusters here, take them out. Put these ones in. Fine. Noise. All right. Have a warp drive somehow. I mean, it's going to be fairly radioactive walking around next to it. <laughs> but I could. Uh, you do something about that, maybe? Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay. Let's get these other engines sorted out. Um, put the warp drive outside the window. <laughs> I struggled to put where my warp drive. Yeah, I mean, the other option is I put it at the front and then. Uh, there's plenty of space at the front, isn't there? But uh, it just seems a bit weird <laughs> being at the front. I don't know, I was going to put all like living stuff at the front, so it's like you've got all your fuel and engines and all your grotty bits and bobs back here, and then at the front you've got a bit of a garden, armor lockers, O2, and some quarters maybe. Um, dude, Trendane, thanks for the host, man. That's awesome. B4M, thank you for the subscription dude that's that's amazing that's really cool alex clark as well over on youtube thank you for subscribing awesome dudes thank you very much and for the emote as well amazing um the warp drives are huge same with the sv shields yeah they're massive dude how do ships behave when they travel through the warp with bigger ships uh, C1, C1. Nice. exactly the same it's exactly the same it's i mean ships they when you attach another cv to a cv that the weight of the first is attached to the the, um, the parent, I suppose you could call it. I don't know. Um, and then, so you do notice that things slow down, like it, it's a lot slower to accelerate, and it might not have as good a top speed and things like that. But if you can get it, providing you can get it over thirty meters a second, it'll warp all the same. It's just you might need to turn some extra thrusters on. Right. Anyway, let's do this before we forget to do it again. No selection. How many did we move it in the end? I can't remember. It wasn't that many, was it? Paste it again. Line it up. That was it. And then rotate. Come on, behave. And one above. Is that right? Yeah. Paste. And then paste again. Move down three. Rotate twice. Move across. Nope. <laughs> Up one. Paste. Oh, I didn't rotate it, but it's fine. Uh, remove selection. And symmetry mode. Can actually remove the generators from in this section. I think. I don't think it's going to need six T1 generators. Wait, how many did I put in here? Oh, just two. Yeah, somehow. And also, I don't need these either. I've already got lift thrusts and downward thrust. Guns out. They're in a stupid place. I have put them here now. And then the sides of these, I need to put more in my side thrust back. Although I might need to rearrange <laughs> the fuel tank locations. Everything. Rearrange everything. <laughs> right.
Oh. <laughs> well, that's fine. That's fine. I only had three of three of four, so four is okay. Not a bit awkward. Um, well, I could do. The only way I could do that is to do easy. That one. One there, two, three. One, oh. One, two, three. And then we've got. Nope, too far. That one. And yeah, I could use the um I could use that one. And that will save a whole block. But I know I actually quite like the lighting effect of these ones. Uh, does mean there are generators we need to put back. And fuel tanks, which we were T2s, weren't we? I'm not going to pretend that this thing is yeah, <laughs> laid out particularly well <laughs> in terms of like survivability or anything. It's not. It's really not. Basically, target the generators in this thing and you win. <laughs> Congratulations. Um. Ah. Thank you. What are you talking about Windows? Yeah, thanks for the emote. SVO shields aren't really that big. I'm usually able to easily. It's the SV warp drives. It's crazy. Cool feature for the restream bot on both YouTube and Twitch. Yeah, it's finally working as it should. <laughs> I don't know how many streams I've done with it, it just didn't work. But now that they finally got a proper YouTube API, it seems to be working properly. Um, could hide the warp drive in the dub on A cells. Yeah, it could do. Oh, I'd like the warp drive to be visible in the ship. I'd like it to be an actual location you can go to, though. That's the thing. Um, I have a problem building all my stuff too small. Wait till you see my endgame CVO submit of the challenge. Easily the smallest. A small ship. That just carries large cargo ships through warp are possible. Yeah, man, that's exactly what this is. Any anyway, except it's not particularly um, small anymore. Um, but yeah, that was basically it. Wait, I'm so confused. Have I done this wrong already?
as I do that. That's so annoying. Sit it at the back. I might as well take these things off then. Let's have the lip. Gagger. Do some glowies in there later or something. We'll make it look good. I have the beginnings of a Jeffrey's tube there, ladies and gentlemen. I'll have a Jeffrey's tube. That is not the block I selected. We are actually getting somewhere. Possibly. <laughs> Which block is it today, ladies and gentlemen? Place your bets. But that's <laughs> rubbish. There isn't a block for this, is there? I don't think so. Uh... Oh no. We're all dead, Dave. <laughs> this is the MS Titan. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, thanks. Awesome. One K, one chaos. Being very generous. Thank you, sir. Crazy. What's up, dude? What I meant is the reverse of what you were building. That's how I like to roll. That's how I like to roll. Very much. Um, dude, Thomas377, thank you very much for the 20 
DKK? I don't know what DKK is. Is that Danish krona or something? Maybe. Uh, maybe do you think DKK currency over on YouTube? Very cool. Thank you very much, sir. Awesome. Um, hey, Sponge and Chatty Chat. <laughs> LHO, what's up, dude? Um, those angles would be cool as trust box. Yes. All the, all the blocks that are available would be good in all of the other blocks that are available. <laughs> all the, the shapes, I mean. Um, that would be awesome. Uh, now she can strut with that big butt. <laughs> Little Groot. Mark was said that the, few, the full Project Eden, you could have went to 50 episodes so you could have finished the story arc for the missing doctor. Well, I the, missing, the story arc for the missing doctor isn't complete, so that would be impossible. Starting to look a bit like a Klingon cruiser. Hell yeah! I like that. Well. Not once you put the little cargo pods on there. And I've also got an idea to make other little pods as well. Like a garden pod, or a medical pod, or a habitat pod, or something like that. They can all just like strap onto these things, like, and you can just bring them in modular with whatever and whenever you need them. Just concepts in my mind at the moment, but yeah. I've got those ideas. Is that still too... No, that is the right size for that, isn't it? Perfect. We can add actual guns onto this now. I'm going to set them fairly far forward. Easy. Hello. There we go. Nice. I'm not going to put them on the underside though, because the underside is going to have landing stratars. Um, Klingon Warbird is what it looks like. That's pretty sweet though. I like that. I can get behind that. Klingon Warbird. Nice. Can definitely get on board with that line of thinking. Problem is using like half blocks. Like I could, I could finish this entire roof off of just half blocks, and it would look a lot more spacious in this section when it would be complete. But you can't do anything with them. You can't put lights on them or anything like that. I could only put lights on the full blocks, and it's really annoying. It's a shame. But like that block there would be ideal to put a light on because it's it's a whole block. It will be, it will be flush. Um, so I could continue to do this sort of thing, um, almost like a spinal column kind of thing. And then uh, we've got the heavy glass, trapped it away. Top. Double sided. Put that 
the back here actually. Actually take this further back now because we've got this back section here I could either I could either make this an, an SV pad stick on the roof um, and because this thing will technically land it will be able to land I could stick a ramp on the bottom here and um, get some HVs to park into it it's on the ground. It's could quite easily make a little SV pad. Um, and raise it up a little bit as well. Uh, looks closer to a D7 if you ask me. Vorcha, yeah. A Romulan bird has the round front. Oh dear, we're in a debate now. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see if either D7 warship or one of the following of Warchar or Negvar. It was definitely not a Negvar. That's just that's crazy. Mind you, a Negvar does have the big bulbous end on the end of it, doesn't it? But it also has two ginormous cannons on the underbelly. Anyway, <laughs> we get into a very long debate here. T-shaped windows would work if there is any. So can you have the bottom windows? You can have windows on the bottom, yeah. I was thinking of doing something like that in this corridor, but... Anyway. I need to finish the bridge off in order to complete the shape. I feel... We're at 1.15, we've got some rope blocks going on here. I'm here. How did that happen? What I want to do is I want to hide this top of this um, shut door a bit. Um, SV parking spot here if I can See, shaping like this is just like, why bother? I may as well sort of just strip that down and, and turn it into a more brutal kind of uh, squared off shape and use sort of like pipe in and rounded blocks in order to give it the sort of feel I want to give it. <clears throat> right, um, yeah, I wanted, uh, I wanted a raised SV bay here, SV pads. The weird lip at the front. And then 
right in the middle there you can just literally you can add a, a repair bay if you want to Do it. Um, <laughs> uh, all right, Delta, I'll take it easy, man. How many people would you need to run that ship effective professionally? Like right, three. <laughs> I'll destroy the chat. Ready? Star Wars is less than Star Trek. <laughs> it's 7.30 a.m. for me, and I haven't slept yet, so I'm going to pike. Thanks for um, the interesting content again, Sir Spanj. Latest, Sir and Chat, enjoy all. All right, little group, take it easy, man. Thanks for joining today. Knowing no exploring in Star Wars, so it's dead to me. <laughs> if TV shows count, Stargate is greater than Star Trek, which is greater than Star Wars. Put a door. Put a door there. Is that where I just put a door? <laughs> you could put some crates on what? Not under the SV platform to make it accessible. Chubby hole of sorts. Cubby hole. <laughs> Chubby hole. <laughs> it's a cubby hole. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. I like that idea. And a couple of cargo pallets under it would make it look real. Um, good for re upping on ammo or fuel. Or just place to dump some stuffs for later. Yeah, really good idea. Actually, there's this cavity space here, so um, yeah, why not? Absolutely, very, very good shout. Um, what I might even be able to do is use this will be cheeky. This will be well cheeky. Let's use this little block here to create an out. Right. And then we put a let's put a shut door actually sideways always sideways and then we've got a little access hatch underneath um, and what we could do is then like you suggest we could put some boxes if I can find them there we go Hate that one, it's just rubbish, isn't it? Put some boxes. Sadness, yeah. You legs. <laughs> Fastscape was good. SG was not good. <laughs> maybe a fuel tank? Yeah, fuel tank, maybe. Um, could be a nice little uh, weak spot, couldn't it? Little, um, fuel tanks at the back here, wasn't it? Probably put fuel tanks instead of those ones there. Oh, come on, I hate that. You, you click 
on something and you press right click and, and it doesn't it takes too long to close the thing so it just err uh, anyway There we go. We've got a little, little cubby hole. Put a hanger in the back. You mean like that thing right there? <laughs> Welcome to the stream if you've just joined. <laughs> now catch up. <laughs> right. I've actually got my torch on. Yeah, I do. I don't know how it's dark in it. Uh, right, I'm going to take these windows out because they're completely and utterly pointless. And. bit of a waste to be honest. Um, what I'm going to do is going to create the illusion of space in here. The illusion of space. Uh, I'm going to place some of these here. And have some half blocks in there. Nice rounded hanger effect. I'm gonna block that off. We're gonna block. We are gonna block that off actually. And actually, we're gonna create our hanger entrance on one side. Not that right there. The stairway up into that. Well, actually, do we need a stairway, or can we eat into these blocks? To a point we can. To that point we can. Yep. So that's going to be radiation hell right there, isn't it? Okay. Just trying to create like an interesting corridor in here, really. So that we can get around it a little bit more. Feel like we got a bit more space to play with. You know what I mean? We're gonna need a uh, stair block. Shields on permanently, anyway, isn't it? I was like, "How's that shields got power?" I don't understand. There's no fuel or anything in this thing. Um, fuel tank in the hangar. Pirates are gonna raid the ship, anyway. <laughs> it's true. Um, is it by far one of the most epic shows? What are you talking about? What are you guys? <laughs> I want to build a corridor like that. <laughs> build a corridor like that then, dude. Um. <gasps> Middle. What? Since when? That's, that's awesome. Since when has that been a thing? Right. We must embrace the middle. Uh, embracing the middle. <laughs> I am kind of tempted to put a um, fuel tank on the ceiling actually. And somebody suggested, like, just put one there. Uh, 
bear with me a second. We have pipes. Did it in a Kuaseka Raceway, created a pipe system like that, and then put one of these at the end of it from the fuel tanks. Almost looks like their uh, fuel pumps. interesting looking hangar all of a sudden. Um, we'll do something to that back wall as well. I mean, do anything with that really. Um, can't really do much with the ceiling unfortunately. Um, possibly take this row out here. Can use one of my new favourite blocks of all time. If I can find it, that is. It's always hiding away somewhere. Have they added it to the correct tab yet? No! Sons of... Oh, it's in this one. Yeah. Flat on top. Looks like piping on the bottom. Nice. What's our CPU? 1.17 million. We still got plenty of devices to stick in. That's we need to keep it under 1.5. We got four large. Why is that one on? Is that on or is that just light from? Oh yeah, it's light from you. <laughs> okay, cool. It's cool. It's cool. Looking reasonable. Oh. There's a lot of fluff to do to it, I think, isn't there? Right. So we'll done the back out again. Let's see what it looks like. Cool. Um. Pipes, the pipes are calling. <laughs> ah. Texture and light. Yeah, we'll get to texture and light. Usually I do the texture and stuff after I've done all the shaping. Um, otherwise I'll end up just having to change the texture when I change the shaping bit. We need to finish this bridge off. Uh, and this bit of interior here. As I think what I need here is um, an elevator block. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Because it's like, well, I've got an elevator block there. So if I take that out, actually freeze that up there. And then you just have to go to the back there to finish that. And take the core out again. Okay. I don't know what to do in this space at all. I have no idea. <laughs> it's basically just a corridor.
Hmm. Menace, thank you, sir. Round end of something. Wait, just need to make an end. Yeah. Not all board cubes have pipes. That's a lie, and you know it. All board cubes have pipes, and they have millions of pipes. <laughs> ABP, what's up, dude? Welcome along. Johnny! Curvy end glass. Well, that's what I was thinking. Curvy end glass. Like one of these. But I'm not sure. Because that. There. Doesn't. I need I need glass that's on the less of an angle. Because that's too much. You put that there and you've got this weird end bit here. And I don't know what to do with that. We've got end bits. But they're too big to go there. So I think it's just going to have to be an awkward bit of corner going on here and then yeah I don't know I might change it entirely and just put some piping on the ceiling or something you know at the moment you got this goes down here that goes along the corridor to all the things you've got uh, an engineering section here, a radiation section there, so that you can go and kill yourself. Um, and yeah, I can create Jeffrey's tubes around all of here so you can get burnt and radiation poisoning there as well. So there's plenty of ways to kill yourself, which is good. But ultimately, we need to add in things like oxygen tanks and more fuel tanks and stuff to places like this like little little cubby holes like that good little good little places for fuel tanks again no here and here with a 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 with Yeah, it's going to be great exploring these little cubby holes. Some blocks over the top. And then we're going to use our new hull blocks. The see-through ones. These little corridor liners. Yeah. Burn yourself on the thruster. <laughs> You're good. Hide a fridge. <laughs> uh, the board cubes are 95% piping. There you go, see? I prefer to think of it as my first duty is to the ship. <laughs> yeah. Makes the Death Star look like a kid's playground. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. You got it. Um.
I don't know what we're doing. Oh, he's still got a core. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I take the core out and then never do put it back. It's like, God damn the core. It's a pain in the butt. Anyway, nobody wants one. Why, why have we even got a core? Um, let's put a core. I don't know. I'll put the core sort of not central somewhere. But also not next to anything explosive. And the ship is entirely lined with explosives. So, <laughs> makes it slightly difficult. Maybe we could put it there. Right in the roof of that corridor. No, that's stupid. Right. I'm going to put a core. I'm going to put a core somewhere. Um, I've been put in symmetry mode on, haven't I? Doit. Doit, doit, doit. All right, we're going to put a core. We're going to put a core. Where are we going to put a core? We're put a core. I'm going to put it next to the warp drive. The warp drive gets targeted, but at the same time, wow. It's, it's, it's the core. But we're not symmetrical here, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Oh, this is so difficult. Why is it so difficult to place a core? Why is it difficult to place a core? Seriously. It isn't. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be difficult to place a core. It be easy to place a core. I should put a core right here. Here's a core. I placed the core. I can put the core at the front of the ship. Now there's an idea. We've got this whole front of a ship over here. We're not being used. Boom. No, that's, that's a crap place to put it as well. Check that out. How much space have we got up there? Not a lot. This is where the living compartments are going to be. <laughs> I'm like, let's place a core here. Um, Right, let's just place a core. And then we need a Wi Fi. We need two Wi Fi's. One at the front, one at the back. Right next to this, the, core, uh, the warp drive. We also need core behind the fridge. Where's <laughs> the other fridges? <laughs> the captain's on the core. Ah, yeah, but I only had one core. See, if you only have one core in your thing and you've got symmetry mode turned on, it only places one. No, it only places one even. I think even if you have more than one core. Um, yeah, the other thing I'm not not realizing as well is the uh, the three CPU extenders I need. <laughs> right, well, they're fine. They can go, they can literally go here. Because they can go anywhere. Ship cannot have a second core. No, it can't. Quite right. Wait, can it only take two? Oh, let's take that one out then. Put the other one up here. Symmetrical. I thought it took three. Not two to get it to tier three. All right. Well, we're going to add in a T1 as well for redundancy. That way, if the one in the T2s get taken out, we don't lose all the CPU all in one go. Um, right, what do we want? We want we want some grow plots. And we want all our gubbins. We need a warp drive tank. We're going to need some RCSs, I suspect. Uh, we want... We're going to have a large constructor. Two large constructors. Two smalls. We're going to place a T2 hull shield somewhere. <laughs> Who knows where? Right at the front of the ship. Right in the nose cone. Um, but we're going to take it out before we save the blueprint. We're going to need some of these. Food processors. Um, we'll add a repair bay, but we'll take it out. Usual stuff. Add that, take it out. Medical fridge. And we are going to need at least one container controller and extensions and an ammo controller as well and ventilators. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, this thing is going to go skyrocketing through the roof, isn't it? 
in in um in CPU points. Okay, so we want. So not going to work, is it? I might have them in the middle. I might have to have them in the middle in order to get the most efficient nine pot plot, nine plot pot plot, nine plot 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 plot, nine plot. I've lost the plot. That's what I, what's what's happened here. This core needs to go somewhere else. Core needs to go here. Grow lights. It's not going to be enough room. Ah Once I seal this engine off. I mean, this can be like... Creating the, the illusion of space. I can do that. My blocks, more blocks, please, Susan. Oh, damn. Um, I always hide the core in the bathroom just behind the sink. I'll remember that. It is. Is that all you need for a basic cargo CV? Plop 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 plop. <laughs> the thrusters will kill the plants. No, they won't. No, they won't. It's fine. You just seal them off. You just gotta seal them off like that. They'll be, they'll, they'll be. It's fine. It's airtight. And then you had a, you had a vent. Why? Why you do this? You had a ventilator in. Like that. And it's all good. It will be all good in the hood. I'm double door in this because it's going to be an airlock system. Sneezed. I sneezed. Right. That will go in there nicely. 
how much blockage have we got on the front of the ship? Like literally none. But it's fine. That will work. We need a pentaxid tank that goes all the way back here. What too far, sunshine? I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put a shut door in front of it. Sideways, always sideways. Another one. It is going to feel a bit cramped in here, <laughs> I'm going to admit. <laughs> this isn't a pleasure cruiser. Okay, what are we missing? We're missing the medical. We haven't got any medical. We've got a garden. It's a bit shit. <laughs> it's okay though. Cubby hole space. <laughs> All the stuff we can fit in here. We have no use for because there's a freaking great big thrusters in the way that prevent us from traversing to this this area. <laughs> Who put the bloody thrusters there? That's a stupid idea. Can we move them back. I reckon we can move them back. What do you reckon? We can put them that way, right here instead. Is that too close to the core then? <laughs> God damn it. Oops, too much. Took too much off. Too much off. We need big thrusters. Lamo. The blamo. Right. Yow. There we go. Move them back one space, and then we've got a two block corridor. Yes. So we can actually get around it. And then suddenly, the blocks will behave themselves. And I'll block that off. We've got a little room. <laughs> Yeah, it's not much. It's really not much. <laughs> but we can find some use for it, maybe? Maybe uh, double up the blocks on that. And 
then uh, bring them across. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're an issue. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, can't really, it's just going to be an engineering access hole, then, isn't it? Basically, it's just going to be an engineering access hole. Fine. I was thinking maybe it could be crew quarters, but no. This ship has zero comfort value. <laughs> What do you want? It's got a gun. What do you want? What, what do you want? You know? Uh, Sponge, well, I will have to watch the rest of the stream tomorrow. Need to sleep. All right, dude. No worries, man. Thank you for joining me today. Anyway, put the crew quarters next to the truss. Mmm, <laughs> toasty. <laughs> I'd say ditch the garden and medical. It's a cargo mothership, so it could leave those things out, eh? Keep a few small boxes with medical supplies for getting to an actual medical facility. Well, this is it. This is the thing. Because I thought, well, um, we could we could build more modular pod ships that do the other functions. We could build a modular pod ship that has a garden. We could build one um, that has medical. Well, I would like to get medical on this ship. Um, I think that's like a minimal requirement. Maybe we could just put a medical chamber in it, not the full suite. We're at 1.17 million. I feel like we've got the capacity. Oh, wow, we're 1.17 million. And we've got a shield generator in here. Amazing. I'm going to take these grow plots out. Because what I'm going to add in instead is... Um, Something. Bear with. I'll get to that in a second. Patience. Patience. Construction. Oh yeah. Not just construction, but like like sunken construction. <laughs> I don't know why that's a thing. But it is. And it's cool because it is. Oh no, no, we've got a hull bridge! Hull bridge! Don't panic! Nice. Look at my sunken construction. You're jealous of it now though, aren't you? You, you originally judged me. I heard you. I heard you. You judged me. You were like, pfft, pfft, whatever, Spange, whatever. You know what you're doing. And you'll be right. I don't know what I'm doing 90% of the time. But here, right now, in this moment, I knew exactly, exactly what I was doing. And now you're all jealous. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Patience! <laughs> Just use a medical board. That's exactly what I was thinking. Where's the duct tape? Flex here. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. That's a good idea. And <laughs> a similar idea from modular CV base before CV to CV was a thing. And she started. Yeah, you got it. Build a double triple pod for a garden. <laughs> Travels between two or more large bases, so it would only need some crew quarters. A habitat pod. This is it. We're gonna have loads of pods. Basically, for every pro everything that this ship doesn't, every problem this ship doesn't solve on its own, it will have a dedicated pod. That's how it will work. Why have I brought this block in here? This block doesn't contribute anything to the game. Except it does. Mm. 
I want to put something in here. I don't know what. what should I put there? What should it be? Cargo boxes? We do need cargo. We need a little bit of cargo, at least, anyway. Cargo boxes. Right. I've just figured out what to do in this space as well. Extensions, obviously. Um, now this is really going to ramp up the old uh, the CPU count. That 176,000, that'll do. I don't want any more than that. That brings us up to 1.275. I could add a bit more. Six one point two nine four. Two hundred and eighty. I think that'll do. Don't need that much. You know, you got cargo pods for that that reason. Do need to add in an ammo controller though. Oops, I just deleted that. Ammo, ammo. There we go. Right, onboard weaponry. That's fine. We've got plenty of space. We can add that. Uh, where the hell am I? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's fine. I know where I am. Wait, what happened to my warp drive? Oh, symmetry mode happened to my warp drive. <laughs> nah. That's going to mess my CPU up, isn't it? I'm going to be like 1.8 million now. You wait. How much is a warp drive? I've forgotten. I can't remember. But it's a lot. I need to rotate it. Yeah. Oh, it's ready for. We're okay. We're okay. We haven't added any any RCSs in yet, though. We should probably give her a little bit of juice. Power her on, and give her a little fly around. No RCSs. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, I tell you what, I haven't actually got any down thrust. Yep. <laughs> I always forget things like that. How did I end up on a wonk? Wonky ship. Always forget down thrust. Right. Let's chuck some ammo in before we forget that. That is gonna go in the roof. Right here. Bingo. There's not a lot, we don't need a lot of ammo. Um literally three thousand two hundred. Six thousand four sixty four hundred. More than enough for ammo. Fine. Nice and accessible there. Okay, we need some down to us. Now we're gonna now we're gonna properly screw our CPU over. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did try and remind you on the last stream about down to us. Yeah, you're probably you're probably right. Yeah. True, but one shot and boom. Well I have got a shield generator, so technically not one shot. Providing you've got shield switched on. That one shot is the sign to get the hell out of there uh, before boom. <laughs> and hopefully you heed its warning and get the hell out of there. And if you don't, it's your own fault.
and there is no room in these nacelles for down thrust. There's room in here though. Yeah, there's loads of room in here, so we can have. there. Oh, symmetry. Two there. Keep doing that, don't I? I mean that's that's better than none. <laughs> six, six thrusters. That's its reverse capacity. So yeah, it'd be fine. Nobody said it was going to handle like well. Oh Jesus, he's not finished the pack. You're just going to warn me. What do I keep you around for? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do. It's a little bit much now. Uh, Turn on symmetry. <laughs> God damn it. I'm so like comfortable without symmetry mode being a constant thorn in the side, you know? Because it's like. Wait, how the hell did I do that? Way loads. It's the uh, it's the the green field. It's just so like, intrusive. An intrusive swine. I don't know. No, no, no. Just trying some stuff out. Um,
Mm -hmm. it's, got, it's got baby Yoda ears. <laughs> Shields are great unless they go after the pods which do not have shields. Quite right! Which is why they're sort of set in, so from a frontal angle you can't actually see them. Uh, sure, but from the sides, yeah, they're vulnerable as hell. I did think about building a sort of um, a cowl over the side of them, but I think it, it would just make such a pain in the ass when docking. Um, and after playing the sort of Project Eden, um, that's what the hell's going on here? <laughs> Take my hand off the mouse. Uh, after playing the Project Eden Let's Play, it is, it is actually really easy to just avoid combat. I mean, I avoided it for so long in uh, the mule. Yeah, it wasn't difficult. I do think these are a little bit long. It's going to be better with those ones. Three pronged. Two pronged. Two pronged would be quite cool. Two prongers. Yoda is. Yeah, it is, it is pretty easy to just avoid combat, so. Um, and while you're not on a playfield, and, and and this is especially true in single player, not multiplayer, of course, while you're not on a playfield, the playfield isn't even loaded anyway, so. If you leave it in space and go down on the planet, you'll be fine. You don't even need to worry about it. It'll all be good. Right, we've got a lot of flat surfaces to do stuff to, but actually I need to add um, some landing gears in, in here. So let's actually see where do I need to come down to. I think I need to come down to about there. I'll bring it one block lower. Is that the same on this side? Oh, this is going to be awkward, isn't it, over here? It's going to be a little bit awkward. I think that's about the same height. No, it's difficult to tell. Hmm. Seems to be, okay, All right. I could embed that and that will sit, the, but it will sit on the turrets. It would be good to be able to have the turrets out on the ground, even if it's got only a one block clearance. It's just a case of like, how the hell am I going to blend that in so it's nice looking. Hmm. I don't even know. Um, can't be all the pirate cargo I have. <laughs> pirate Yoda. <laughs> if I was to be using those cargo CV pods, I would build a CV hangar. Put the landing gear in the nacelles. Yeah, I, I wanted to avoid putting it in the nacelles, to be honest, because I want the nacelles to almost look like they detach completely from the ship. But yes, I could put them in the nacelles and then they would sit flush. And I might actually do that anyway, because um, the other option is I put them there. It should still give it enough stability to land, but... They cells would have to have a blob added to the bottom of them, but then I guess that's the same anywhere I put them, really, isn't it? It's less of a blob if I put them there. Whereas we've still got an issue over here. Hmm. 
Um, remove turret, make it look nice. <laughs> Gotta keep the bottom turrets on, I can't take the turrets away. Um, hey Span, I just thought I'd pop by and say hi and say that I really enjoyed your Eden series. By the way, my wife loves listening to your YouTube videos with me. You crack her up. Oh well. I suppose someone's got to, eh? <laughs> You're welcome. No, I'm glad you guys enjoy it. That's really awesome. Hearty Booker says, Spange, what P what FPs are you getting from this before texturing it? FPs? What's an FP, dude? You're gonna have to help me out there. FP. Oh, frames. Is that frames? Are you talking about frames? It's a hundred and yeah, hundreds. Um, <laughs> make it ramps instead of landing gears. FPS, yeah, frame rate. Gotcha, gotcha. I figured it out. Those FPS. What do you mean, make it ramps instead of landing gears? You mean like boarding ramps, that sort of thing? that's another thing I haven't done is I haven't put any boarding ramps in this thing because they're another bit of a nightmare future pods <laughs> future pods <laughs> the turret is necessary but I've just had an idea because something that Dragoon um, showed me on his ship that he built is um, using signal logic of the landing gears themselves you can actually tell the turrets to go away when it, when the turrets extend when the landing gears extend so when this thing touches the ground it's going to touch the ground on the turrets but that will trigger the landing gears to pop out which will then in turn tell the, la the, the turrets to go away and then it will connect to the thing and from a protection point of view on the ground well, we should be all right. Then your top side turrets, and we haven't even added any sentries in yet. So we're at one four two eight of one point five million. We are literally <laughs> we have got no spare CPU, and we haven't added any lights in yet. We need to add some lights. I'm just going to add a light in like every room. This one will light up this entire area because the light bleeds through walls, as we all know. I haven't added any, um... oh Christ. We've got space there, no we don't. Yeah, that's literally it, isn't it? Was like, that could be cool. We have a sunk section in the bridge, but no, never mind. I'm gonna add in, um, some funky lighting in the bridge. That will light the bridge up. It could be quite a cool idea. Hmm. Um, lights shouldn't add too much, to be fair. Added light over each door. That would be a good way of doing it, wouldn't it? So each door. Don't need you. Oh. Bridge. More flex tape, please, guys. Two large constructors and some small constructors in the front here. And a shield generator right in the nose cone. We haven't got yet any armor lockers or O2 stations, um, so we need O2 stations 
don't necessarily need the armor lockers. Um, we could put something like that in the the um, hangar bay, maybe. Repair station as well. We were going to put a repair bay in there, but I don't think we're going to fit it in. And a medical chamber is the other thing. I'm not sure we're going to be within... Put a farm there on the bridge. You should add a disco hall like... <laughs> yeah, nice. The disco pod. <laughs> Melts your straight in. Brilliant. Uh, nice. Disco halls are not allowed in cargo ships. When we work on mother ship sort of deal, pretty much just a garden, living quarters, and warp, but meant to haul cargo boxes. Cargo box CVs. Obviously, my fleet. Maybe get rid of the large constructors. Could get the needed stuff at base anyway. Yeah, it's true. Um, have it. And like you say, we could make a constructor pod, couldn't we? Quite easily. Um, yeah, let's fill that in. Let's fill that in. Just have one way around that. Right there, We've got a bit of space here that we can do some stuff with. There was a shut door here, but it seems to have gone walkies. Yep, okay. That's enough shut doors for today. I'll just put that there. <laughs> Plug! So, like, everything left just becomes part of the hangar bay. this med chamber. Much for the old med chamber. Oh Christ, look at the time. <laughs> Can't see me. La 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 la. Ah, uh, I need to stop building. I need to go. Somebody, somebody save me. Help me. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help it. Must add more blocks. Must add. Bye, bang. Yeah. <laughs> well, bye bang. It's difficult because, like, when you're on a little bit of a spree. <laughs> And then the basic things like rotating blocks confuses you. To, we got a med chamber. We could add um, we quite easily add a repair station in here with an armor locker next to it on a sideways jaunt just to give it a bit of a mix up. There you go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Thank you very much. And um, no, I didn't just quote for uh, what was it? PUBG? Now that winner winner chicken dinner is around, around way before PUBG and has been part of English slang for forever. PUBG stole it. The 
hope they stole it from us. They stole it from us. Precious. Cool. We'll make that better. Because at the moment it's a bit, it's a bit shit. <laughs> we'll make it better. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh, wait. Spanner, I think your restream to YouTube is acting up again. Keeps buffering over 30 seconds. God damn it, restream. Stupid. All right, I'm going to investigate the multi-streaming ability of Streamlabs OBS. Uh, because this restream thing is just getting stupid. I thought he was thrown out at the last base. What? I don't know. I don't know what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Sponge is ancient. Outrageous. That is an outrageous accusation. <laughs> don't try to eat pod, people. What? May the pods be with you always. What has happened to my chat? <laughs> you guys have gone weird. <laughs> English slang, lol. You guys still use the metric system. How 1700s? Lol. All right. No. CPU? 1431 one of 1500. We're still CPU compliant, baby. We have the shape. We have the devices. We have some of the internal shape, but we're still working on it. Um, and we've got plenty of fluffing to do. And then we need to, um, oh, I'm probably going to use up the last CPU, just adding the general device deco and stuff like that, plant pots, you know, the sort of making the bridge nice. Um, and adding some sentry guns. I need to add some sentry guns here. I want a ramp for the HV on the back there. But yeah, that's a stream, guys. I got to go. I don't know what I'm saving this as. What am I saving it as? I'm saving it as like, Cargo module, no. They save it as modular cargo. <laughs> modular cargo ship. <laughs> Woo <-hoo. laughs> there we go. Right, thank you very much, everybody, for uh, for joining me today. Yes, fluffing. <laughs> for fluffing means something very different in US English. Yes, it means very something very different here, right? I realise. <laughs> Shut up, Windows. But uh, yeah, thank you guys. Much appreciate you always joining me on Chilling and Building, even when I mess you about and change the bloody date and time all the time. Um, f speaking of, next week will actually be on Friday because I'm in London on Saturday and Sunday and Monday. God help me. So next Friday will be Chilling and Building. Anyway, thank you very much, guys. Much appreciate you joining me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your remaining weekend if you have any. <laughs> what the fuck Friday <laughs> I'm all over the shop what can I say um, but yeah hopefully I'll see you guys then otherwise I'll see you on YouTube during the week for some shenanigans and mech warrior and outer worlds and, and maybe I need to do another stream to go through all the other um, submissions for the Project Eden series as well so I'll be doing that probably on Wednesday so thank you again I'll see you soon take care you guys are awesome stay awesome there you will it's just natural to you guys isn't it Bye.